so I know to like you There's so much that I like And I know that you feel the same about us Yeah, but the timing isn't right So let me just let go, let go have arrived at LSE Bankside hotel house thing if it's just like a university dorm let me show you from the entrance like you enter here there's a bathroom with Sophie in there and then this is like a university room do you see this it's like I'm back at uni this is me hi and we just went to have some food we've arrived at like six and we went to Wagamama's, um, the food was mediocre, um, the bao thing was really really good but I got ramen and I didn't like it that much, um, it was fine but it's just, it could have been better. Um, Sophie's chicken from the curry was delicious um, but then we went to, what's the name, m &S? Um, and then we went to co-op, but everything is kind of closing down right now and we don't really know our way around So we're going to stay in and tomorrow we're going to explore a little more. So Today was good. It took us a while to figure the transportation, but it was pretty it was straightforward. So Day one a success a resounding success Welcome it's the second day of the week and we're up and bright and this is my outfit of the day it's a little dress as you can see and today we're going to waterstones yeah to waterstones to the biggest one in london and i'll take you along but that's after breakfast so let's go look at the view it's a bit it's a bit noisy are they doing construction over there I don't know, but it's really nice. It's very cloudy. We have the London weather, but it's really cute. Okay, we finished breakfast. It was delicious. I'd give it like um, 8.5 or 9. And Sophie's in the bathroom. And Sophie, what would you rate the breakfast? Mm, 7 or 8. 7 or 8, yeah, that's good. I thought it was great. There was Quite a lot of option. The food was great. There were so many people. It's so well, good that we went at 8 because breakfast is from like 7 to 10 and when we exited it was such a long row that was crazy. So tomorrow maybe we'll go at like 7 to just be ahead and now we're uh, going to Waterstones, the biggest one in London. So let's go.
crazy when we drive around in our Mercedes. We're out all night or at home lazy. We're living like we're in the 80s. My oh my, we both look so fly like sweet We are back from the adventure today, day two. Uh, in the morning, we woke up really early, had breakfast at the LSE, which is basically the, the London House of Economic, no, the London College of Economics and Political Science, I believe. And they just like rent the place out like a hotel from June to October, because I don't think I mentioned that previously. And uh, so we had breakfast, it was so good. Uh, I ate a ton and I still have a pain au chocolat from the breakfast. Um, then we went to Waterstones, like the biggest one in London, and it was nice, but I don't know, it was a little underwhelming. Um, the, it was really big and there were a lot of books, but I didn't think it was as nicely decorated as it could have been. Like the architecture inside was a lot underwhelming. Um, I still got a book. I got this. Let me show you. 15 minute Mandarin Chinese. Learn in just 12 weeks. So we'll see. Um, it looks easy. It has an app and it's just like an introduction to Mandarin Chinese. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, afterwards, we went through the same James Park and it was nice. We saw a lot of ducks. Um, it was so busy in town. We are tourists, so I understand. Um, but like the big band, which was finally unraveled because last time I was at uni, it was fully covered for reconstruction. Um, but we saw the big band. Uh, we avoided Buckingham Palace, but we saw it from, from the park. Um, and we just walked next to the uh, London Eye and the hospital. And then we went to Tesco and we bought a meal deal. It was pretty good. I got uh, some chicken wraps, uh, apple juice, and what did I get as a snack? Some yogurt. And I'd give that meal deal like, um, like an 8.5. It was a really good meal deal. The price was amazing. And I can't complain about meal deal. After that, we slept for a bit because we were exhausted. We did more than 10,000 steps till like 12 a.m. So 12 a.m.? Yeah. yeah, 12 a.m. Uh, so then we slept for a bit and after that we went into town again. Um, we went to look for a coffee shop, but the area we walked in just didn't have any or they were closed uh, between August and September, which is crazy because that's when most tourists are, but I, I understand why they want to avoid that. Um, so we went to Costa, Costa? Costas. Costas, yeah, to uh, just sit and read for a bit. It was really nice, though it did get a bit cold afterwards. And then we left, came back yeah. here, you took a shower, and then we went out again, we went to Lyons. Uh, the food was like um, 7.58 eight for me it was good i got a chicken wrap again um the potatoes were great the chicken wrap was a bit spicy and the ginger ale i forgot the ginger is spicy so that was on me um but i really liked it uh more than wagamama's a lot more uh and then we went to black friar station to buy some tickets for brighton that we're going tomorrow and then uh, what did we do? I have the memory of a goldfish. And then we went to co-op to get some water and some makeup wipes. So that was today. I'm really excited for tomorrow. And today was a lot of fun. So let's hope tomorrow will be the same. The way 
This love that you We're back in Brighton and let me show you. This is the house we used to live in. Wendelsham Road, number eight. And my room was the one, can you see that? It was the one way up there. That was my room. Can you see that? Room number eight. The best room in the house, in my opinion. It was just so good, so. This is the Brighton house we used to live in and it served us so well and I'm so glad to be here again. So, uh, this is so much fun. Brighton is so pretty. I love it. Say to me, what's wrong? To where do you come from? We're at the beach. Yay! We got Sophie a cake. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see any cake. There's a cake there. Trust me, I can't see it, but trust me. We're going to put some candles in there and sing happy birthday. This is a cake. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sophie. Happy birthday to you. I let you complicate everything. Like puzzle pieces you rearrange. I wouldn't change it for anything. The way it's pouring, but I kinda need the rain. There's certain things that I'm letting go. Like my old tears that you threw away. Cause I'm so much better with you than alone. Sussex. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at that. I haven't been here in like four years. So happy. Look, this is my old university. Welcome to Sussex. That is the arts building in the back. And then there's the library. Can you see that? So much fun, so many days spent there, not enough learning, but I did so much reading to be fair. That is the art building. I spent a lot of time during lectures in there, so I did actually study there. So this is really fun. I love it so much. And I tend to pack so you drive you insane. These kinds of things are inevitable. There's no way to grow without growing pains. So that was day three. I fully forgot to do an outro for day three because 
so much happened and I was just exhausted and I'm back home now so let me tell you about day three it was amazing we went to Brighton it was just I love Brighton it, there's something about it it's definitely a touristy place I wouldn't see myself living there necessarily but for you like that's where I did my university and I just I was so happy to be back. We revisited the first house that we lived in. Uh, then we ate cake on the beach to celebrate Sophie's birthday. Uh, we went to eat pizza at Purezza, which is like the best place. Um, their pizza is amazing. So good. And after that, we went to university to take a picture with the University of Sussex Rock because I have wanted a picture with that place for so long and when I was at uni I forgot to take one and then COVID happened and I couldn't go back so it's like damn it but I did it I got my picture I just I'm so happy and it's just I had such a good time day three was amazing so I absolutely loved it and it was just fantastic um I think I will split this vlog into two parts because it's getting long <laughs> I didn't anticipate to have this much footage, but I have because we did a ton of things. So consider this part one and I will publish part two as fast as I can because there's a lot of editing to do and I just I had a blast. So I hope you liked watching this. Please give it a like. Please comment below if you've been to any of these places and I just please subscribe for part two. I promise it'll be nice. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye bye. I just give the earth my soul. Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls.